G'day all you amazing boaters out there. It's Ari with Denison Yachting. And I'm here at the Seattle Yacht Club to show you the 2011 Sea Ray Sundancer 330. Sayonara. Let's go check her out. So here we are in the Sea Ray 330. You can see from the dock, gel coat is in unbelievably good shape. Just been buffed and waxed. Hull looks phenomenal. Um, just a little bit of dock rash there. You can barely even see it. The uh, rest of the hull actually looks really good shape. So you've got the uh, a Delta style anchor there, a little spotlight. Being in fresh water, just not only does it preserve the exterior of the vessel, obviously the the engine, the coolers, and everything else, um, it, it keeps them in really good shape as well. Having said that, they actually uh, had just done some pretty large cooling service to the engines last year, so they'll be good for a number of years to go now, having, having done the, uh, the major servicing there. Uh, I love how this boat has the Olsen Davit on the stern here. And you can see that there's a little swim ladder over there as well. Got sea deck throughout. Nice and soft on, on the feet. It looks great as well. This boat, like most Sea Rays, just a phenomenal uh, boat for entertaining. Huge seating area here. This actually drops down into a sunbed. Um, and we've also got a full enclosure that's going to easily roll up. Each panel can actually roll up nice and easy, just like I have this one. Um, or the whole thing can be taken off. And uh, yeah, it's just great for year-round cruising. If it's too hot, we've got air conditioning uh, that comes up from below. Uh, if, it's too um, if it's too cold, uh, we've also same, got the same thing, a reverse cycle cruise there. So we've got the heating there as well. Uh, a little wet bar here with a sink, electric Kenyan grill. This is super clean, looks brand new. Another thing I like about this boat is when we're going to the bow, there's no walking around side decks doing dangerous things, nice and safe. You can head straight up these stairs, uh, straight to the bow there as well. And uh, it's nice, you can put some cushions out, make a little sunbed up in the bow as well if needed. Uh, we've got these high low, high low seats here for the helm. Double seat, and this is just amazing. So we've got the uh, Raymarine C90 display, VHF. For all you newer boaters out there, this Axios or people that are. You know, get a little nervous docking. I mean, I do sometimes on a you know, big strong wind day. This really gets you out of trouble, makes you look like a pro no matter what level you're at. Um, to have Skyhook, meaning uh, it's kind of like a DPS system. It just pins the boat exactly where it is via GPS and the engines just stay, you know, it uses the engines to just stay exactly where you are. That's the Skyhook feature. We've got an auto heading, which is pretty much just like uh, autopilot. Um, and uh, we also have this joystick docking control. Um, and it's very, very responsive. I use that coming into this slip here, which is pretty cool. Uh, electronic gear controls for the Mercury's. Good layout here. We've got trim controls and trip tabs. Let's uh, head down below. So up forward, we've got the master berth. Nice little skylight. And here you have a fly screen or a blackout shade, which comes up from that side. A couple of reading lights, little skylights here, and there are covers for these as well. And then uh, starboard after a little, we've got this large settee with this fold-out table here 
And uh, this city actually also doubles up as a berth. I'll flick to that. I'll flick to that now, and we can check it out. So here we go. Here we've got the uh, the berth, which just slid out from the bulkhead, and you can see the table base is right there. It just removes out, and you've got this large berth here. Further aft, you have an additional berth, and uh, this also doubles up as additional entertaining space. This just comes straight, uh, this middle cushion comes straight out. So uh, we can flick to that right now. There we go, got additional entertaining space down here up now as well. Really good space, does have a TV in the bulkhead there as well. And as we come forward on the port side, nice galley space, Dometic fridge and freezer above. We have a Kenyan electric grill, two burner, with a cover. I really love this cover. It's great to have that extra countertop space as well. Super nice stainless steel LG electric microwave there as well. And one thing that this boat has, I've not seen in any others, is this additional drink fridge here as well. They added this, so that's really good to see to give you a little bit of extra fridge storage. Um, everything else, I mean, lots of really good storage throughout. Under the berth here, you can see. And uh, I'll just take you through some of the storage spaces. To starboard here, we also have bigger hanging closets there as well. And uh, we have an additional newer um, Physio TV there. Let's jump on into the head. Really large mirror you can see on the door. And it's a wet head. So we've got a vacuum flush head and sink here. And this pulls out to be an additional shower. And same thing again. Good storage underneath. This boat really is immaculate shape. Let's check this out of here. Good more storage underneath. And let's head up and check out the engine room. So we've got the engine hatch open here. We've got the twin Mercury C-Core 5.0 260 horse engines. All in really nice shape. All the rises were done I think about a year ago. Also have a 5KW Cola gas engine. Everything's actually really easy to get to. Most sea rays, uh, you squeeze it in somewhere. This, the whole hatch lifts up. So servicing and that sort of thing is gonna be a lot easier for, um, you know, for the, uh, the person who likes to do it themselves or for a tech. You're gonna save a lot of money um, having not, you know, not needing to pull apart half the boat to get to things. Uh, one other cool thing, just here on the forward bulkhead is the new Pronautic charger, smart charger. The batteries last a lot longer. Can be a good charger like that. And you can see on the port aft corner, we've got the, uh, the black tank there as well. All looking really good. Really simple from the helm. Just push a one little button and the hatch just comes straight down. Nice and easy, just this button over here. Now they got the engine hatch away, I just wanted to poke our head at the windlass here, get a little quick windlass. Good setup, nice and easy to access. And when you're not using it, keeps it out of the weather and keeps it from uh, fouling up on anything as well on deck. Uh, just over to our starboard bow, we've got the West Marine dinghy in the water, you can see that, and it goes nicely up onto that Olsen Dabbit there as well. So we're back on the swim platform here, and this is really one of my favorite features on board this boat, this pop-out chair area here. Really awesome spot, and it is truly to be sitting 
at the end of the day to watch the sunset at anchor or even at the dock like, like today. Uh, it's just beautiful, very comfortable boat. Thanks for coming on the tour today of the Sea Ray 330 here at the Seattle Yacht Club, Sayonara. For further information or for an in-person tour, feel free to reach out to me, Ari Sher, anytime on 772-240-0888 or via email at ari at denisonyachting.com. See you on the water. I'm just going to leave you guys today with some awesome running footage of the boat where we took her out yesterday.